So let us go and try to see today. <coughs> Operators. Okay. So as we know from yesterday's class, we have different things we learned. Basic objects called as integer object, float object, complex object, string object, then boolean object, list object, then we need to learn numpy list as of now we didn't get chance to learn about that one. What is that? We'll try to see today. That to not very high, very uh, low level, we'll go for very high level how to create it. NumPy is one, one big chapter that need one hour of time. I am going to take care in level three, level three of our training. Today we will try to see the basic operators that is comparison operators less than, greater than, equal to, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, how it is working. Right? So if you see the sample uh, space, whatever I given, can I compare integer with the integer? Yes. Can I compare integer with the string? No. No. That's what we said. False. So this table, we have to fill it. We have to work with all possible cases so that your hands will be somewhat uh, dirty with the practice. And we come to know what is possible, what is not possible. And also we'll be knowing how to read the error messages accordingly. So reading error messages and reacting according to that is very important thing in the coding because generally you have 20 years or 30 years experience doesn't matter we will get errors okay reading error messages and according to that one thinking about the solution is very important now first point we are trying to do here comparing two integer numbers we are trying to do it so let us say i am saying two greater than three is it true no it's false okay. If I change this operator, for instance, I am changing this one to less than 3, I am changing. Now what is saying? True. So you can change the operators and you can observe it. Now we are trying to compare here two float numbers. It says false. But at least comparing two float values, possible or not possible? It's possible. Possible. Comparing two complex numbers. So that all that is possible or not possible? Not possible. That's what we are seeing the error message not supported between instance of complex and complex. Complex and complex we cannot compare using greater than this kind of symbols. Okay. Now we are trying to compare here two strings, let's say Ram and Reni. Now, what answer you are expecting here? It's false. Why it is false is RR is okay, but A and E it is comparing. If I compare A and E, A is greater than E it is saying, but which is not. As for the ASCII values. Got it? Now, comparing two billions, I am asking, so if I say true greater than false, Actually, you know already true means numeric 1, false means numeric 0. As true means numeric 1, false means numeric 0, it's saying like that. Now comparing two lists, I have the 10 in the first position or in the index 0 position of the first list and second list that has no issues. In the index position 1 of the first list and second list, if I am comparing 20 less than 30, which is true. So it's saying as it is true. What happens if I change here in place of the 30, I am changing this one as let us say 18. Now it's going to say what is this? False. False. So we are able to compare two lists, we are able to compare. Now we are trying to do for opposite things, I mean I mean uh, other things, float with integer. If I try to compare float with integer, it's okay, it's accepting. 
if i compare float with complex now now what happened it's not allowing float and comp complex you cannot compare it that's what it's saying i am trying to compare float with the string then then also it's facing the issue float and string cannot be comparable we are comparing the float with the boolean as you know true means 1 1.34 greater than 1 is true yeah. we have here types of list in python we have two types of lists number 1 is called as list number 1 is called as list number 2 is called as numpy list list cannot be comparable with integer yes we we are going to see that one numpy list np means nothing but numpy list only don't confuse about it it is a numpy list numpy list can comparable with integer let's try to observe that one we are trying to comparing list with the integer so it's saying as you cannot compare list and integer now we all are pretty new to this numpy list how to create such a beautiful numpy list now to create the numpy list we have here creating numpy list so we are saying as one package is available numpy we are importing that package and we are creating one dimensional array so to create the one dimensional array this is what the syntax np dot array then we are going to provide list of values we are going to provide list of values let us go and try to execute this and we are seeing what is the type of this one numpy n dimensional array n d array stands for n dimensional array one dimension is nothing but one column of the table or we also call it as one one feature tomorrow identifying object is your job i can say a number of legs is one feature number of hands is one feature what is the height of the person is one feature what is the weight is one feature so each and every column values is called as one feature now if you see the number of dimensions as of now we created is one dimensional array we created more details about numpy list we'll try to learn later point of time there is a chapter for that one time being we are aware of it how to create the numpy list right Now I am trying to compare numpy list and integer we are trying to compare. So if I am trying to compare it is accepting, it is accepting that is the reason I am able to get the result. I am comparing 10, 20, 30 greater than 15 I am comparing. 20 and 30 are qualified for that I am able to get those two values. Got it? That's it. That's what about this chapter. So today you have to fill this table, you have to fill it. So we have the operators in that one comparison operators. We know now how to compare different things, right? So with this, we completed this exercise one of three that is about the operators. About the operators. Just I'll give one minute of time. Please walk through it and let me know if you have any questions. This notebook is readily available for you from the Google Drive. Thank you.